Yes, well, this Trump rally was certainly an opportunity to highlight this 12th congressional district campaign race. And Keith Rothfuss was inside stomping for Trump after first criticizing him about his comments over women. In the meantime, his opponent was outside the rally criticizing both men. Let me get serious for a minute. We had a tough weekend and uh, some things happened. Congressman Keith Rothfuss was actually furious over presidential candidate Donald Trump's shocking comments about women revealed on tape. This is what he tweeted. I am sickened by Mr. Trump's offensive comments. They are vile and wholly unacceptable, and I strongly condemn them. But he's still stomping for Trump today inside his district. We're going to repeal Obamacare. We're going to replace it. We're going to give it a, 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 a health care system that the American people deserve. We're going to stop the war on coal, but that only happens if we have Donald Trump in the White House. Erin McClellan is a Democratic challenger to Rothfuss. She sharply criticizes him for condemning Trump's words, but still supporting him. Oh, I think he's just a coward. He just, he, you know, he has daughters, he has a wife, and you hear the things that Donald Trump has said about women. McClellan describes Rufus as deceptive. He has talked continuously about privatizing Social Security, and all of a sudden he's flip-flopped on that. My opponent has been for privatization, but he won't admit it. So I just think he's a coward that doesn't really embrace what his true views are. And we were able to contact the Rothfuss campaign to get a statement in response to that sharp criticism from McClellan. And the spokesperson says, quote, it's ironic to read Ms. McClellan's comments when you consider that she said vulgar and inappropriate things directed to Keith Rothfuss. They also go on to say that he is working for a much healthier economy that will allow us to keep our promise to our seniors to ensure that they receive Medicare and Social Security benefits that they've earned. Reporting live from Ambridge in Beaver County, Sheldon Ingram, Pittsburgh's Action News 4. Sheldon.